Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us here. Now. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself. It will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 70, NASDAQ's off 98, SP's down 26, gold contract down $33.50, trading at $16.75 an ounce. We have silver down 61 cents, $19.64 an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck 65, $90.98. King dollar. King dollar's up 369 ticks, trading 113, 162. The euro is at 97, the yen's at 145, and the British pound is at 110 to 1 US dollar. Bond markets are closed out here today. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that you get a start of a bounce. You know, we have out here, you get the SPY today, uh, made it to 357. Now, the last low that was out here was 357.04. We went to 357.60, we rejected lower price there. I really want, I want to see this inside the trading day of the 17th of June. That's, that's your benchmark. That's the benchmark that you should be looking at out here. We had 111 million shares there. We did come down lower with 153, no doubt. And that's why I'm saying, this could have been the test of this, uh, but if it is, you want it inside what, it, what the lower high volume day was, and that is 362.17, you know, which we can make today, by the way, okay? Because the bottom line is that this market looks to me like it wants to bounce. NDX 100, same type of setup. Now, we take a look at the NDX 100. Uh, this needs higher price, too. We got down to 363. It rejected it. It's going to have light of oil. We're 266. You want to see this one get into 269.28. When we started out the day, folks, this could have been a, uh, a real problem if you're bullish. It, this is, if you're bullish, this is a much better scenario that we're going to get a bounce here. When we started out the day, it was basically, you know, you, you had higher price. And if we went higher with this light of volume, it would have been a total disaster because more than likely it would have been, it would have been building cause for the next leg down. Now, when you line up with kind of where we are, it's, it's, my take is that we really can get a decent bounce going here. Um, you had the first little fracture come out uh, inside the Fed, and that's why you saw a bounce uh, intraday out here. Where it was Lyle Brandon, uh, one of the Fed governors, uh, bottom line. Uh, you know, and she's been hawkish, okay? Uh, and she came out with the aspect that, well, you know, we got to watch the liquidity incidents. When 
the Federal Reserve or any bankers, uh, you know, the market, well, mostly bankers, uh, yeah, the market in general, when they start talking about a liquidity event, folks, they're not talking about a liquidity event between you, I, or anyone else that basically is, you know, having cash flow problems. What they're talking about specifically is banks that can get taken down in two seconds flat. And the reason is that each and every time the bottom line is that they don't supposed to be over leveraged, this or that, and every every single time they're, they're over leveraged. That's the bottom line. So when you see the aspect of bonds move so quickly, um, there's always someone that, you know, think that you can't get pullbacks of five to six percent inside the bond markets. Now, our banks are no doubt strong, okay, because of the test on a continual basis. That being said, though, the bottom line, if you hit a European bank, it's hit. You don't know how much our banks are into European banks. That's how kind of this whole thing goes. So that was the first blurp out of a Fed official that, yeah, we might have liquidity events. The bottom line is, folks, they're never going to say we're going to go into a recession. Um, you know, I suspect we are. I mean, they, they're going to they're gonna force this until uh, a recession's out there. That's, that's my take on it. Gold. Gold contract pulling back with lighter volume. You get gold contract, 142,000 contracts. Now, what's really cool in the gold market is this, is that so you're coming back into strength, and that's how you want to operate, man. That's the bottom line. Like gold right now, we're at uh, 1675. We went to 1672, and this will probably, you know, test the 1671 tomorrow. That's how it's probably set up. You have 148,000 contracts. That's shot contract volume coming back into the 215,000. The low of that 215 is 1666. So you can actually get the 1666. We only got the 1672 out here. Dollar, the dollar is, you know, the, the king here, man. There's no doubt about it. The, this dollar, uh, bottom line, is looking to get up into the highs. Now, the intriguing part about this today, okay, so picture what ends up happening, folks, okay? Our bond market, it, you know, here, let me show you something here for a second, because this is pretty cool. WB. You want to see, okay, so... These are the rates, okay, when, you, when you're taking a look across the world, right? Well, you can see on the 10-year, we're at 3.8, and the United Kingdom is at 4.4. The differential, and France is at 2, you can see Italy's at 4. The differential is huge, meaning that people are going to keep, if they want to buy the 10-year, they're going to first cash dollars in to buy the 10-year, okay? Now, what's intriguing today is that the bond market's closed, so it's not folks cashing in dollars to collect. And that just means people are buying the dollar still. Now, if we look at the two-year, you're going to see our two-year is basically higher than anyone in the world right now. So where is that money going to go? That's why you're going to see it. You're going to, our two-year right now is 4.3%. So if you want two different things, so check out what happens. You want two different things. You want 4.3% for two years, right? And you're overseas. The bottom line, you got to change it into dollars, you buy it, and that's the highest interest rate in the world right now. Well, it, for a two-year, and, and the scale that I have up there, that's what it comes down to. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now, down 12. Nasdaq's off 79. S&P's off 20. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational, 
as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, up 19, NASDAQ down 62, S&P's uh, down 16. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, Steve, that Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, folks, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter on Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, Mastering Probability. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under Newsletters. You're going to hit Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. And you're gonna so hit subscribe and you can get Master and Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You get it for one year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, folks, they all come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Go get it. You can keep it for 29 days. It works for you. Just keep it. It doesn't work for you for some reason. You'll get your money back. Steve Rhodes, I heard we got a new Tiger at 5.33 this morning. We did, 20.5 inches and uh, 6 uh, pounds, 13 ounces. Congratulations, man. Thank you. So Thank you. cool. So yeah. cool. Yeah, number number six. Number um, six. That's what you said. Yeah. Now you got a hockey team, man. We do. <laughs> we do. We do. But it was uh, 56 hours of labor for wow. my daughter. <laughs> oh, so. And there was some touch and go uh, time periods there. So the umbilical cord yeah. ended up getting wrapped around his neck. Yeah. And so Thank God for those doctors, man. I'm telling you. you. Yeah. You know, when, when I finally talked to my daughter, uh, my daughter uh, after the show today, um, she said, you know, she, there was a period of time where all of a sudden there were like 25 doctors. Wow. In there, yep. you know, and, you know, really monitoring things, but it all worked out in the end. It's a beautiful so thing. Did, you know, didn't have to go wheel down and get a C-section and everybody's yeah. doing just great. So, wow. uh, so cool. yeah, it's, it is, it is a beautiful Huge. thing. So, right? I love it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Totally. So while, while it's a great day for, for guys like you and I yep. with our grandkids and everything, you know, many people around the globe, they're talking, they're calling for an, an end of the world or the end of the U S dollar or an end of the bull market. 
Yeah. But like our but like our good friend from uh, game day on Saturday, Lee Corso likes to say, not so fast. I love and so it. that's what uh, today's <laughs> workshop is, uh, or workshop, I should say, today's review of what I'll share with uh, you and the listeners out there, the viewers out there, is really what it's all about. And instead of just taking a look at the world coming to an end, it's more like the game of dominoes, so to speak, or stacking up the dominoes, where yeah. they'll fall one at a time. And so as the first domino, the real first domino out there, and you were really talking about a little bit earlier with regard to risk out there and what's going on uh, overseas, is uh, the first domino drop is really going to be inside of uh, uh, Europe. Yes. And that's what really sends uh, capital to the U.S. In this case here, it happens to be the U.S. dollar. So the safe haven asset is absolutely new, coined it years ago, is the king, king dollar out there. And if we take a look at year to date, now these are yearly charts that we're taking a look at here. What people will see is the US dollar index year over year is up 18%, likes we crewed up 22%. If you right. take a look at the S&P and bonds, S&P down 24%, bonds down 22%, you know, so much for the 60-40 uh, deal out right. there. It, it, it emerging markets are off 25%. Gold is out as well is down 8%. So that's the year over year. And truly, uh, U.S. dollar is the uh, is the safe haven. Now, the Federal Reserve has communicated to us that we're in a period of rising interest rates. It's just like, um, uh, what's his name, uh, 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 our Fed Reserve uh, uh, Chairman? Uh, Powell. Yeah, Powell. You know, remember he, he had the famous quote, I'm not even thinking about thinking about raising right. interest rates, right? Right. Now it's kind of like what he came out with at the last conference was, I'm not thinking about even thinking about, you know, not raising That's interest correct. rates. That's so correct. Yes. It's, right? So he's already told us clearly, you know, what, what they've said. And I, and I heard your comments uh, about Brainerd and, you know, maybe, you know, people are talking about a potential reversal out here. But the thing is, when we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, if we take a look at his comments, we take a look at the A to B equals C D patterns. And it's unusual, Tom, to find a yearly A to B equals C D pattern. But that's what we've got going on inside the king right now. And we're showing it on the screen. And the first move, the first A to B equals CD projection is 120, 121 uh, would be the area. But more likely than not, this will do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. And the reason I suggest that is because that retracement that took place was only about a 48% retracement. So much less than a 61.8. Those typically, when you do less than a 0.618 retracement on that B to C leg, you'll do more than a one to one. So the targets for the US dollar 121 to 129. And throughout history, there have been periods of time where we have economic and geopolitical turmoil. And when we have that, capital just simply flees areas, it looks for where it has more confidence. So when the G5 was formed in 85, uh, they chased capital out of the US. They That culminated in the 87 crash. Then capital moved to China. That caused a bubble to burst in 1989. Then capital moved to Southeast Asia. That uh, created a bubble in 1994. Then in 1995, the Euro top, capital moved back to the US. That created the dot-com bubble. 2002, capital began pouring back into mortgages. That led to the 2007 real estate, real estate crash. Next up was gold. That peaked in 2011. And then capital began shifting back to the Dow in June of 2014 when the ECB went to negative interest rates. And yes, we have political turmoil in the U.S., but we're the best of the worst, or we're certainly not the worst out there. Sure. Sure. And we take a look at the king. I know you've shared this statistic with folks before. The Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago, they estimate that 80% of the $100 bills in circulation are held overseas by foreign investors. And that's how strong the U.S. dollar. And anybody who's traveled overseas, maybe they've reached their pocket. They didn't have the local currency. Wouldn't matter whether it's euros or pounds. If you offer that... Uh, uh, that restaurant or wherever you're going to purchase U.S. dollars, they'll take it and give you a big kiss. Right? <laughs> exactly. exactly. You don't see that. You don't see that in the U.S., do you? You right. don't see people saying, "Hey, will you take my euro?" Right. You know, people would right. look at them uh, cross-eyed. So, uh, the lack of confidence in the euro. You know, we took a look at an A to B equals CD to the upside for the dollar. There's yeah. also an A to B equals CD to the downside in the euro. And that gives us, and that price projection, that B to C retrace was only 38%, so like a 0.382 retracement there. 
that really tells us that, that we're likely to see more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the downside. So the one-to-one -one price projection around 69 cents for the euro, uh, 53 cents uh, is a likely price target out there. Boy, wouldn't that be fun to be over in Europe with uh, U.S. dollars? We are going to have that? a TIGA meeting in Europe. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, ab absolutely. So capital should continue to flow out of Europe, folks, into the U.S. Most people don't even realize that the European Central Bank can actually go bankrupt. The EU doesn't issue its own debt. Instead, it depends on revenue from its member states out there. And they've asked for more money ever since uh, Brexit out there. So things are really uh, difficult over there. And when you, if we take a look at emerging markets, we had taken a look at what emerging markets have done year to year. Um, according to the latest uh, Bank of International Settlements, there's $13 trillion of U.S. denominated debt out there. With the U.S. dollar moving higher, that's really going to create a major havoc inside those emerging markets out there. This chart here, folks, it's a daily correlation for the U.S. dollar in gold. Uh, bars that are below this uh, zero line, they indicate an inverse correlation. But gold, like all asset classes, needs to be measured in all the major currencies. If we take a look at gold priced in yen, it's really not that far from its all-time high out there. So I'm not looking for a crash as the dollar moves as the dollar moves higher in gold, nor are we looking for that in the case of the S&P 500. But what I am looking for is I'm still looking for the Dow to pull back and bottom out at around 24,843 if we want to be exact. That's a beautiful thing. I like that. <laughs> Folks, come over to our, we to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You're going to see Master and Probability right on the right-hand side. You hit it, and you are off to the races. Congratulations again, Steve. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. And that it. was a great update, man. You know what's Thank interesting you. about that dollar, man? It, it's almost too easy, folks, for that 121, which is the high. That's I right. I can see that spike. Have That's a great right. one. Have a safe one. Take care. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 33. You got the Nasdaq off 88. The S&P's are down 22. Let's take a look at a few of these gold stocks. So if you if you own some of the gold stocks, you're looking to buy them, folks. You want to you want to check this out. So they're all acting the same out here and have been, you know, bottom lines as they come off this bottom. Now this is actually what you want to see when you've made a solid bottom. So if we let, take a look at the Nico Eagle, the first low that came in goes back until July 25th. That low was generated at uh, $38.02, and you had uh, 8 million shares traded. Well, we come back in with 4.8, and we actually get below it. We get to a price point of uh, 36.65 versus the 38, but then what ends up happening, it closes out at 37.54, and the next day it gets right back above it. Okay, so then you go higher with volume, you pull back now. Now, I ex this is what I expect. So I expect all of these gold stocks to actually pull back to the highs of September 28th, which is going to, you know, flip everyone out. There's no doubt about that. But bottom line, that's how this seems to be set up. And if that's what we get and you get with lighter volume, let's go to Royal Gold and take a look at a few of these. If we get them with lighter volume, which I expect we're going to, that's going to set up a, a decent run. Uh, inside Royal Gold, we're talking, uh, that's like 88.20, and right now you're, well, no, 92.99. Actually, this did it this morning. This is interesting. It went to the high of the low, which was 92.99 this morning. It went to 92.56 and rejected it. You know what was cool, folks, is that the when Steve Rhodes was going through um, his education on the last segment, Go over that on the archive. I'm going to go over it on the archive, and this is, this is why I'm going over it, okay? Is that when you see those numbers, you know, I've talked about many times is that, see, gold hasn't got hit like I really thought, you know, when the dollar was so high. When you actually take a look at the percentages, what happens is that that's down much dramatically than everything else. And I've talked about this many times, that when you get accelerations in the market, those gold stocks are going up higher than the rest of them, and then they're pulling back lighter. That is what does happen when you get a bull going. You know, gold was only down 8%. You can see everything else was down 22 to 20% uh, right across the board. That's how that baby shakes out. So that's going to, you know, that's, that's important to, to really wrap your head around that percentage context. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. You get Amgen putting 26 positive points, Merck 21, Big Mac 17. Taken away from it, Microsoft minus 29, Salesforce minus 28, uh, United Health minus 27. Inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness there. You got uh, Walgreens Boots up 4.8 percent, Moderna's up 4 percent. Uh, you get Kraft Heinz up 3.3. Taken away for it. Pin Duel Duel is down eight and a half. Now, the Pin Duel Duel uh, is catching up because the markets were closed for a week. Uh, you get Zscaler down seven, you get Lamb off six and a half, and you get CrowdStrike off six. So, the, um, what you're going to see, like last night, so last night, China opened back up, folks, okay? And, you know, when you take a look at our own S&P, you can see how far it went down. That was a catch-up. That's the real bottom line. That's how that works out. So we'll see uh, if, in fact, uh, there can be uh, any juice getting going uh, inside of the marketplace. But um, right now, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, you had the catch-up happening. Our own markets, as I said a little bit earlier, if they just get a little bit higher, man, this thing wants to bounce. Now, the scary part, this is how this comes down, because the number that Steve brought up, that's the number I, I suspect we're also going to. And the way, let me bring up this S&P for a second so you can see this. So if we bring this up, and we put this on a monthly, what you're going to see, I think he brought up, I'm, I'm going for the top of that. What, what number is that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably... Yeah, I'm going for 31.36, that high there, okay? So, that, now that's the high of the lows of the pandemic of that March 2020. So, that being said, you see how we came down? First, we came down off this 48.18. Then we get down into a price point of 35. Well, we can have a consolidation for, like, easy seven, eight, nine months in between this low and the high of 4,300. 4, that would be... A field day, folks, okay? An 800-point consolidation inside the S&P. Oh, man, 
if you're trading and you trade both sides of the market and just don't trade one side of the market, that is as good as it gets. Because what happens with that, you don't need the top, you don't need the bottom, you need somewhere in between it. And then, you know, the market just, it's just a, it's a large consolidations are traders' best friend. I mean, in a monster way, too. Particularly because what would end up happening, if I'm correct in the aspect of go go, what you'll see, you come off the lows, the first couple of days, you get some really good acceleration. That's what, that's what, you have to get really good acceleration off those lows in order to get a much larger bounce. And I can see that happening. Particularly, I can see it happening because, you know, we know how fast we came down, right? Okay, so the bottom line is that well, we're in October, so we've been going down for 10 months, just like that, 10 months, on the way down. There's no reason that you can't basically do a bounce, a really large bounce, and then all of a sudden the reality hits once again. You know, you have Jamie Dimon out there on CNBC today saying that he thinks he's, that, it, he, that we're going to go into a recession you know, in the second quarter of 2023. That's, that, I'm on that game. I mean, if you're not, if you're not, if you don't think that the rate hike across the United States and the world is going to send us into a recession, um, God bless you. Because the bottom line is that, you know, we're only worth what our signature's worth. There's going to be less money out here. There is less money out here. Um, and, you know, we'll see where it shakes out, meaning, you know, how bad um, the contraction could be, you know. There's still plenty of bread. I get that. Uh, but when you go up this fast, well, listen, when, when you go up like this anyway, you know, it, it, it wouldn't matter. If we were only going up 2% a year and we're going up 4 that would do the same thing, man. And what we don't know yet, there's going to be, you know, folks that have no bait and suit on when the tide went out. It happens every single time. It's going to happen. It's either going to happen here or it's going to happen overseas, but it's going to come right around back here and grab us. Some of the higher volume equities, and this will be a low volume market out here today, too. We have the, um, you had Advanced Micro is down 61 cents. You got NVIDIA off 351. Uh, PayPal is uh, down five dollars. You got uh, Applied Materials off two sixty. Let's go to Tesla because good old Elon Musk, he's working it, man. He just <laughs> he he just keeps working it. That being said, as he's working it for Twitter, his uh, Tesla just came down ninety dollars in fifteen trading days. Okay, so the bottom line is that uh, <laughs> he's losing both ways, man. He's losing in the context of what his stock is worth, and then he's losing in the other context that he's going to have to pay up for more than Twitter's worth. That's the other side of it. So I suspect what you're going to see next, and this is, you know, Tesla wants to test 179, man. You break 179, this could be a horror show, man. I'm telling you. $64 Tesla can go to. Because, yeah, let me just show you this. If this, this is the consolidation he's been in. That consolidation has been going on since December of 2020. You know, you, you made it up, come down. Every one of these lows, and the one the low that hasn't been tested is the 179. If you hit the 179, it's like, okay, maybe 167 will save them, but the high volume out here is 65 bucks, man. So I heard someone talking today that, oh, if you bought it a long time ago, you know, you're still in, in a good position. Well, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? You're in the market to make money. If you bought a long time ago and it's up $300, you probably should have sold it. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 26, Nasdaq's up 88, S&P's down uh, 21. Let's go take a look at the uh, GDX, okay? So GDX out here, this is accumulation of, you know, the gold equities in general, uh, bigger producers. That's pulling back with light volume too, but I expect this thing will get into 23.58. Right now you're at 24.12, you got to 23.92. That, my take is we're going down to this benchmark here because it, it, it's gonna be really hard to take it out. Like it's 40 million shares there, but that's where I'm looking for this to go. We go take a look at uh, EPV. So let's see what this is. This is, uh, okay, so this is ProShares UltraShot uh, Europe uh, ex exchanged uh, ETF, okay? At, at the, the daily investment results correspond to 200% inverse correlation of the FTSE. Okay, so it's the FTSE. So let's see. Let's go like this. We'll go into the FTSE first. Oh, well, here, let me just see what this EP, EPV. So it's a 200% mover. Okay, so trading at 1918. With a high volume low there. That's, that's, okay, so let me get this again now. This is daily investment, 200 the inverse of the FTSE, okay. So let's go over the FTSE. Okay, so we take a look at the FTSE.
Yeah, I see. Interesting. Yeah. So what happens here, folks, on this is it's 200% inverse. And, you know, the, the FTSE does look to me like, yeah, you can go higher, man. The bottom line is that the FTSE hit a low out here of uh, 67.97, came off it. You, you're testing that level right there. Yeah, this thing can go higher. So, you know, it, it looks, if we, if we start taking a look at some of those European ones at the same time, uh, what, you, what you have there is that we just might get a bounce straight across all these markets. That's that's how that kind of sets up. Let's let me go look at one second. Go look at the DAX in Germany. That's been a mess too. All the, they they all been a mess. That's the bottom line. Same setup. Yeah, yeah. We're we're coming in for bounce, man. Yep. That's how this is set up right now. Because Europe is set up the same way, and Europe's a mess, man. But guess what? You know, you don't go one way. You know. Whether, well, well, actually, when I say that, we actually did go one way all the way up for, what, a year and a half or two years. You know, but in this particular case, uh, bottom line, my take is you still got a two-way market, but you're coming off the lows right now. It does want higher price. You know what's going to be interesting here? So picture this. We know that, well, let me, let me look at a few. The ADBE, I'm curious what some of these PEs are now. So Adobe, AD. Sorry about that. Okay, so Adobe's down to a 21 PE. Now this might not be bad because let me see how they're growing. Yeah, well, 21. They're still only growing 7% a year. Um, so what would happen there is that it's still not bad actually. You take seven off 20, you get 13, that's 14. So you're at 14. Yeah, see that gets interesting, man. When you're at 14 on that PE, you know maybe we'll go to 12, but you're you're getting close to uh, you know what fundamentally stocks will go down to and on pullbacks. And you can imagine, I, I don't even want to think what the PE was. You know, I mean, look at this. So the, the Adobe was at 6.99, 6.99, man. It's been a one route route down. I mean, at 6.99. It must have had a PE, my God, It'd be a hundred and something, man. Let's go to Rich in Oregon. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Hey, Tom, thanks for taking my call. Sure, how you been, man? I'm uh, pretty good. Huntington in Bank uh, shares. Indian oh, yeah. You can say that anymore if it's politically correct. What is that? What? Oh, the, it's just where uh, you have really good weather into the fall. Uh, we're getting some unusual warm temperatures here and hardly any rain. And usually in the Northwest, it starts raining and doesn't stop for a few months. But right now, we're having a beautiful fall. That's a beautiful thing. Upper huh? 70s, low 80s. Nice. That's awesome, man. That's huge. So let's take a look at Huntington Bank shares. The lows 11, the high 17, uh, 79. They pay us 4.6% dividend at this point. They're going to come out with their numbers before the market is opened on the 21st. Now, do you own this? You're looking to buy it, Rich. I own it. I'm wondering whether I should uh, bail on any bank stocks. No. Due to No. No? No. Okay. This has always been a good bank, man. I, I, I'm, so, I, I'm so glad you called on this bank. So picture this. I've, I've watched this bank. Let me put this up, man. It, you know, it's so funny because what had happened this this goes back a long time, man. Yeah, see this. Yeah, it was okay. It was thirty bucks in two thousand. Went down to no. This is a good bank, man. I mean, I you know I don't know it upside down, but it's a good bank. That's yeah. It's a regional bank that you know does very well, man. So I would I would stay right where you are, man. You know because you would you also the have there coming out with their reports. Yeah, and they get that, you know, 4.6% is not bad for a dividend if, you know, you think you can also get some, uh, you know, principal price in it. And, you know, that's it. Banks will move slow. This will move slow, but it, it's not a bad setup, man. Yeah. And so what right happens, I'm, I'm you know, if you're, if you're worried about what I said about <laughs> earlier, Steve, um, I mean, Rich, about the banks, 
what this is what happens folks it's not going to be those regional banks like that it's going to be some monster bank that we know it's going to be overseas and and you know it's going to be one of my our banks probably gave them some money too because they're all intermingled and that's what's going to go down the, these regional banks are strong as an ox man you know what i mean they they'll have some development loans out there and commercial that will probably hurt them uh but you're not talking about like you know going south at all yeah okay Cook that's it, brother. good to hear Okay, man. All right, thanks very much, Tom. Enjoy the weather. Have, have a great one. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 10. You get the NASDAQ down 65. S&Ps are up 15. Trying to claw its way back here. This will be really interesting close, folks, particularly because uh, if they can get it all green, that would be uh, pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> There's no doubt because we, uh, yeah, hey, we'll, we'll see where it shakes out here. Uh, let's go to First Majestic. So inside the silver market, this stock, this stock is strong, man. Uh, it, it basically, you know, we came off the low here of uh, 644. It gets up to 902, pulls back, volumes light. It's already rejected lower price out here. So we very well could have many ABC structures up, folks, inside of that metal market. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow is flat, NASDAQ's down 73, S&P's uh, down uh, 17. Don't, ex uh, don't, uh... don't be surprised, folks, if you get a pop overnight here. Um... 
I like how this thing's set up. That's the, that's the bottom line. And if we do, then you got to be all over the volumes to see are you going to come off the lows with volume, you know, because there'd be no excuse. You're going into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, you know, what's cool here is that you have window dressing that's over. Um, you know, the, the Fed, I believe the Fed minutes are going to come out Wednesday. Let me just look at this for a second. So minutes, the next minutes are out, yeah, the 12th. So you're going to have Fed minutes come out to 12th. That, that'll push markets around. That's at 2 o'clock on the 12th, folks. That'll push markets around. But guess what? I think you can go right up into that level, and then we'll see how they handle it, you know. Because they, the rhetoric outside, for sure, is that on a continual basis, you know, bottom line, we're going to go another 75 basis points. Well, when they start talking about the aspect of, you know, we're at 5, uh, 4.5, if we go on November, 75 basis points, that's going to get us to 3.75 to 4. And then you go to December, that, you know, bottom line, that'll get you to 4.4. .4. And, you know, if that's it, um, if they do it both times, this is, this is what I expect is going to happen. If they do do 75 basis, balls, ball, basis points both times, they'll be buying the December one. Because it's like, okay, so you're going to slice your wrist out here. <laughs> I mean, because you'll be at 4.75 to 5 before December 31st. Now, when you actually go through their... Um, statements, the bottom line is that they're looking for that in the first quarter. So might be 75 basis points here and then 50, um, you know, and we'll see how the rest of that shakes out. But I expect that what you're going to get overnight is uh, some kind of a pop. And if we get that, that means that the dollar has to be pulling back. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Yeah, look at him, folks. And congratulations to our new tiger, King Charles. I love it.